skill on the log it and lands criminal boys, etc. That was pretty good. See ya, Teddy. Alright, stream along. Welcome to Let's Play War Chief game number three. Uh, this game, we're going to be trying a carry War Chief. Now, why you would ever want to do this is beyond me because I feel like the hero excels in the mid lane, like completely. And we're also playing Avatar number two, which is Hex, which looks pretty damn sweet, not going to lie. Either way, we're going to be trying a Cleaver. Oh, God. A Cleaver uh, carry War Chief this game to try it out. Um, so yeah. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, that's so weird here. Avatar? Is that an alien she's carrying on her back or something? Like Zerg? Oh. Oh, so we're gonna be playing 1v2, it's a little bit annoying actually. I would have liked free farm, but looking at our lineup... Um, cannot really, as you can see. So I have a Calamity, I mean sorry, a Bushwhack. Even though I said short lane that picked carry. At least he gave me my lane, but obviously it doesn't really do much right now. I thought it was Slitter? Yeah, I thought it didn't know it was Calamity either. It's weird. Hey, come, I feel ya. Okay. Easy kill. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No! This one! Uh, yeah, bro. We have spell? Yeah. Damn it, man. If he just... Ugh. If he just went for the same hero I did, it would have killed him. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. I am one with the land for the scourge tribe. God damn it. All right. Yeah, I see it. All those mislap bombs. Is this a Spanish avatar? Kind of sounds Spanish. By the way, if you want to know more about the hero, you should check out Let's Play War Chief Game 1 or 2, where I talk more about the hero itself, and I not only play it, but we've already gone over the hero twice, so this game we're pretty much only going to focus on playing. Um, yeah. So you're aware of stream, if I'm a little bit more quiet than normal. Eh. Alright, gonna try to taunt and we're gonna turn off the voice like always. Let me get my bottle first, just gonna use my spells to harass and uh, lane here, I think. Hey, come on, come on. Hey, Alright, let's use the taunt. I am one with the lands. I'll protect my tribe by any means. By any means. Ah. Just gonna keep this up. If I just do this over and over, they shouldn't be able to play so aggressive on me. That's why I like the um, Ball Chalice build this game. Might be able to kill this guy actually. If he walks up. Is that Tundra again? Which one's the real one? Wow. Oh, it was the real one. You sneaky fuck. You sneaky fuck. 
Ah, I should have just paid attention to my minimap. I didn't, because you know, if I just paid attention to my minimap, I would have seen the real one pick it up and go up here, but I didn't. So I thought it was a fake one. All right, well, he got me. Damn it! Such an unnecessary death, man. Such an unnecessary death. I don't have a boots either. I just left you for that. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. We're getting close to level 6 though, and after level 6 I should be able to kill both of them myself. Yeah, Sophilia is not very good. Oh, my FPS is dropping heavily with this Calamity. Very heavily. I see him. Come, come, come. I bait. Yeah, we have the same items as we've had ever at a game here with the ball chalice, as you can see. Uh, if I was going to do a real war chief carry, I wouldn't have been buying these items. But considering I'm in a 1v2, without these items, I can't really do anything. Like, I need them to just harass constantly. Alright, I'm gonna get another kill here. Yeah, we got a triple kill there in total. That's perfect, finally getting a little bit of traction here in the game. But yeah, a little bit of a frustration there. We do get a hat triple kill, so that's very important, I think, to get us really into this game. So yeah, the question is, when I'm playing carry Warchief, do I want to buy Ghost Marchers instead? Considering I'll be doing a lot of auto attacks, do I still want to do completely skill based? This is the thing, like for me, this is an item slash... Um, uh, item slash uh, skill based hero, not really auto attacks. I, yeah, if you buy a lot of intelligence, then you know you um, you do a lot of extra damage. But it's not really that what you want to focus on. But for me, I still feel like we want to do steam boots and a normal, yeah, like a normal build. Don't really feel like we want to go anywhere differently with it. Maybe we should have skilled E, considering we want to farm. Yep, yep. I'm not sure, man. Good job. Alright, another kill anyway, so that's good. Um, we'll, of course, like I said, start off... Oh, well, that's a useless help, potion. not uh, we will, of course, like I said, start off with the cleaver build here. Uh, due to the kills we've been getting recently, we went from less than 300 GPM to now having 500. So, recovered exceptionally well this game. Uh, doing very, very good now. Let's keep working towards that cleaver and start farming. What does ultimate do? Reduce CD of you and all your items and your, uh, and your uh, teammates too. We can go find the cloud to get constant damage from it without any CD. Yeah, that's true, actually, but you see, the thing about that is that that only works in a team fight, right? And I still value Sheep's to go over in uh, a lot of activation um, Thunderclaw, I think. If the Thunderclaw worked when farming, I definitely feel like it would have been really good, but... And I'm just not feeling it for carry. Cleaver seems better. Um, yeah. Like a monkey king? Yeah, like a monkey king, you could say. Let's get this tower here. Tower. Regeneration. Fuck. I lie. Fuck. My Kaujai. My Pasa Angrit. That stun do. Okay, 
Be Mac. Yeah, we got an instant hat trick here early game. As you can see, utilizing our abilities as much as we can. And once again, showing why the hero is a little bit too strong <laughs> right now. Gonna have a 10 minute cleaver now. Uh, <laughs> which is very, very early. But yeah, no. Alright, there we go. Cleaver finished. 10 minutes into the game. 570 GPM. Doing incredible. And we're just gonna keep on farming and being ready to use that ultimate. Now, the thing about it is as well, like, yeah, for me, it makes a lot more sense to play him as a mid hero. But if you think about it, should you get this hero really farmed and should you get all these items that you would buy in mid lane faster, that could be very crazy too. So I'm not completely selling out on the idea of not playing him as a carry. I just feel like playing him with another carry in your team would be better. Like you have him as a mid hero semi carry and then you have another carry in your team. But yeah, we'll see. Yes, one of the nerfs should, to the hero should definitely be a mana, re mana region nerf, for sure. Guaranteed. Aye! 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 She pie. <laughs> Hey, Adi, go. Go, 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 go. Direct pathing! <laughs> Fucking cack! Direct pathing! Right, There's another team fight there, completely going in our favor. Definitely getting to show off already here early game. Yes, it also reduces the cooldowns of your team. In all honesty, like this if you if this ulti only reduced the cooldown of yourself it would still be relatively too strong. <laughs> but the fact that it does it to your teammates as well is what makes it obviously way too strong. Oh, fuck. For sure. Uh, yes, Pearl can remove my ultimate. It can be perched. So Pearl's a very good ulti hero against this ulti. <laughs> ulti against this hero. Yay. Well, let's try out a Dombringer build. I mean, I feel like that could be work with uh, carry, carry war chief, right? Or do I still want to go normal items? That's the thing. I, s I still feel like normal items, man. Like imagine. Oh fuck! In the TP. Imagine like I don't know. Since so, so I'm trying to like <clears throat> find a reason to have this cleaver, you know. Because if I don't buy any auto attack damage for the cleaver, then, you know, or any attack speed, and I won't be able to farm faster, and then, you know, the cleaver was pointless. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll get Storm first anyway, because Storm is, gonna, is an amazing item in the hero. Same goes for Tablet. Yeah, we'll get Storm first, regardless. I do honestly believe we want to rush uh, Sheepstick, though, like last game. Like, I, for, that was my first time trying Sheepstick on the hero, and god damn it, man. Fucking insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, well, damn. Hot damn, man. <laughs> oh, lower cooldowns on the team, man. Ridiculous. You guys... 
<laughs> this was not how I expected this game to go. <laughs> oh, you'll try the sand scepter IMO, you can hold them next to your- yeah, but, you're, you're looking for things that are cool, yeah, it's cool that you can have a sand scepter and immobilize them all the time. But... Isn't it better to have something that's really good, like a storm or like a sheep that does way more than the item that can hold them in place? Holding them in place does nothing. Sheeping two heroes in seven seconds does something. You know? Go puzzle box. Yeah, we'll try later. Are you playing PUBG later? Yes, after one more game of Han, I'm playing PUBG. With uh, the uh, developer of Han, actually. Um, uh, like the, the head of Han. I'm gonna be playing PUBG with him. Hey ho! One, two, slapping! Her girlfriend is cute. <laughs> Alright, let's send out that storm spirit. But yeah, I just don't see a reason for the cleaver to be that necessary is all I'm saying, you know? I feel like I could do this with any other hero too. Like any other item too, or like with my mid items. They're fighting mid without me for some reason. Uh, developer, you mean Ace Jr.? No, I mean the actual head of Han, like Garena's head of Han, Andy. Ace Jr. is the community manager, he's not the head of Han. Oh, he's the face out, too. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the cleaver does provide me with an incredible farming ability. I'll give it that, but I don't know. I need to try it out more to see if it's actually worth it. That's all I'm saying. Definitely a shrunken game again, by the way. Hey, go. Bye bye. I've... Ah! <laughs> that was fucking insane. <laughs> Holy fuck. 720 GPM, 11, 1, and 11. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one last game of Let's Play War Chief after this one. Four games in total, and then we're going to go play some PUBG, and I'll be back with more Han tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. 